Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday. Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing what you did. Now, with my quarter library book haul, since February is a number of a couple things, one of them is Black History Month. Another one is Valentine's Day on the 14th. From this day right here, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, I was actually putting together what I'm going to be reading between now and the end of February. The only one that is not Black or African American authored is this book right here. Um, George Washington, The Political Rise of the American Founding Father. Now it's going to be a dry read. I think it's going to be a dry read. Honestly, when you first get into it, holy crap. Actually, it's not going to be so bad. It doesn't seem like it would be. I'm going to read the first chapter, okay? In, in late 19, 1757, a man on horseback rode toward a large house overlooked the Potomac River, several miles south of Alexandria, Virginia, draped with a soldier's cloak. The man's figure was a marshal tall and lean. His russet hair was tied at the nape of the neck. It goes on to saying Colonel jo George Washington was 25 years old. Interesting. Interesting. Martin Luther King Day, Junior Day rather, is today. And also, we're going into February for Black History Month. The history of black people. I mean, the sorry, my apologies. I need my coffee. Teach me black history to white people. The one thing that Leonard Moore said, I asked about this phenomenon in class. And they speak about the question, such as, what are you tech? taking that class for? Is it required? Why does this class exist? Are there any other white students in class? What does it feel like in there? And the last question, that's what his all-time favorite question was, does the professor hate white people? My first reaction, my first thought, I thought to myself, there's a lot of thoughts that come to my mind. One of them happens to be when I was growing up, I will, you know, from third grade on to sixth grade, we had one black kid in the, in the, in the class. Her, her class in stature was higher than mine. I mean, I was a white kid, am a white kid, white person, whatever you want to call it. And her, her class's stature is, is more than mine. And the politics between all of that shit, she got along with her her classmates just like I didn't get along with mine. Regardless, you have classes. Middle class, you have higher class where they are rich or well to do. And then you have the lower class, which I was in. So my point being is is that this this book really evokes a lot of feelings about the disparities that black people go through. Hell, even some white people go through the same shit because of the fact that who we are. Hell, I go through this. Minimize. That was what I was trying to say. Minimize. I'm not trying to minimize white people over black people. In fact, I'm watching a, a show on Paramount Plus, The Good Fight. And I'm oh, realizing on, that yeah. black people and Just white people it's are insane. just at odds. We're go always going to be at odds. Blame it on our, our ancestors. When I was growing up, my father was racist to begin with. And, you know, the thing about it is that to a couple of my white friends, colleagues, family, whatever. I'm, and I asked, I says, would you ever date a black man? Would you ever get involved with a black man? <gasps> oh, no, no. Why? I couldn't. I couldn't. Why? I'm not attracted. What if you were attracted to a black man? Are you attracted to the color of their skin? Are you attracted to their facial facial looks? Are you attracted to their body? Are you attracted to their personality? What? So I asked a colleague of mine once upon a time if she would if she would ever date a black man oh no have you ever thought of dating a black man yeah and 
Oh, I could never act on it. Why? Well, because what would people think of me? Why do you care what people think of you? Why don't you care about what you think of yourself? People are always too worried about what other people may think about themselves. Throw that out the window if you can. Be your own self. Be an individual. I know it's easier to follow the leader or follow a group, but you know what? Be yourself. Be yourself. Anyways, those are the two books that I was thinking about getting. Um, also, to learn a little bit more about uh, Black History. Also, for Black History Month coming up, I'm also going to be reading this book. It's not a part of my quarter library book haul, but it, it these are honorable mentions, except for one of them. This book right here, Gray Boy. So lean on me. I love the movie. I've never read the book. So... The book, 192 pages. Luminary book. The luminary book that I got from Lottie last year. This book right here called Grey Boy. So I will give it another chance. The City We Became by N.K. Jemison. It seems like it would be a pretty cool book. And it's by a black author. 12, what is it? 12 authors explore a year of rebellion, revolution, and change. 1789. Some of these names I can't pronounce, so I'm not going to butcher them. So here, the, here they are. It's a lot easier than putting them up, like, you know, up on the screen and scrolling them. You know, you can read who they are. I, I, yeah. when I was, now this one by Jason Reynolds, The Long Way Down. Sorry, Long Way Down, not The Long Way Down. Graphic novel. Growing up, I never really cared for comic books. I never cared for comic books. I cared for watching cartoons on tv watching movies watching video watching shows watching movies that's what i like doing because i i'm i'm very visual well why didn't you because honestly if it came in a book i didn't want to do it because when i was growing up i hated school i hated learning i hated all that stuff i i did because i had a hard time I had a hard time. And back in my day, I was learning disabled. It took me a longer time to comprehend the material, regardless of what it was. It took me a lo longer time. It wasn't until later on when we actually got the internet and we got Google, things starting to progress. But anyway, I'm going to try it. I've never really gotten through a, I don't want to say a comic book, a, a graphic novel. But I'm going to try it. This one won the Book of the Year Award 2020. Believe it or not, the pandemic year. <laughs> and that's Vanishing Half by Brid Bennett. When I first read the, the, the not the blog, but the, the blurb of it, I thought, oh, hell yeah. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it a chance. So that's that book. Still re watching this show, The Good Fight. I really like it. You know, there's a bunch of lawyers. Diane Lockhart. I think her first, her real first name is Christine. So Diane Lockhart is, is the lawyer that's in this black firm. And she is awesome. In fact, all of them are awesome. All of, all of the lawyers, all of the actors are awesome. But anyhow, it's fitting for this time of year because, you know, we're, we're, it, we're it, going into Black History Month in February. We're doing Martin Luther King Jr. Day today. This isn't going to air until probably Friday or Saturday, depending upon what, what my schedule is. And then also yesterday, they, in fact, this is the one I was talking about, the one I'm going to add it to my list. I have a special day list on my in my description for my Amazon list for anyone that wants to for for my special day. My special day is the end of June. I'll be really older. Point being is that I don't call it a birthday. I call it a special day. Down there in the description, if you want to check it out, and and send me gifts before my special day. But yeah, I, I put that in my list as well. I hope you guys have a terrific day. Stay comfortable, whether staying warm or staying cool or just in general. I hope you have a terrific day. I'm going to try to have a great day myself. You have a terrific day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Well, good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday. I wanted to let you know that book. I don't have it in the, in, in, in the room here, but I have it in the bedroom and I'm reading it you know teaching black history to white people at first I was 
a little arrogant and ignorant with with the with the book because i'm like really you're black and you're going to teach me what are you going to possibly teach me that's the ignorance right there that really is and now that i'm in yeah almost halfway into the book because it's over like 160 pages i think i have a different opinion of it emotionally hard to read you're going back in time and you're learning how african americans and we call them slaves enslaved people lived back then some of them still do according to the book and my thoughts are wow it just brings all the questions to the forefront it makes me feel bad it makes me feel bad that this went on continues to and the the question was was what is it racism or oh ra racism or slavery i think it is which one came first and my thought was well didn't slavery come first oppressing people down because obviously if you push people down take away their rights take away their materials of reading and comprehension you you don't they don't progress they don't change they don't evolve why would you why would why would anybody do that to anybody you know why and then i also read in the book that black people did the same thing uh they kept slaves you know for the people that you know for the plantations the crops all that stuff if you wanted the the crops to progress and you wanted these people to to do it why don't you do it you know you own the plantation it's yours why don't you go out there and and tend to your own crop why do you have to have this black person do it that's my justification that's my question to y'all that is what i'm reading right now at first i liked it because i was getting good it's like but now it's even harder emotionally to read but i will tell you one thing about this book it is written in layman terms the guy has a doctorate leonard moore he has a doctorate he doesn't talk like a pompous ass he doesn't he doesn't write like a pompous ass. I'm sure he could write like one. That's not him. You know, he's literally writing the story. You know, that's, and that's awesome. I love that. There's so many people that write different ways. And I love his writing style. You know, I would consider on getting more, more stuff by him. Except for that book, Anatomy, A Love Story. I'm getting more into that book. And then also i do i dove a little bit more into forgiving paris i still want to get into more of my other book called the midnight library i'm a little afraid of getting into that book because i'm thinking it's going to really turn me off it matters what you think of what, what you read not them so you have a terrific day i'll see you i'll see you soon if nothing else i'll see you friday have a great day oh well, good morning everybody today is finally friday <laughs> So I woke up and I'm thinking, well, Alexa, what, what's the temperature outside, right? And she says it's 18 below. <laughs> I'm not taking cats outside. Not when it's 18 below outside. No. She has a hard time enough when it's like two above or three above. So I laid down a, a couple pads for her. The one book that I wanted to tell you about, this book, I was listening to it on Scribed. It's, it's a good book. It's a good book. I'd give it probably a three or a four right now. I'm going to re-listen to it. You know, I think I'm, I'm, I don't know, an hour or two away from the end of the first book. There's different voices, different mediums that you can listen to. And it, uh, some of it makes me laugh, literally. This, this coming month, this coming month, February, Black History Month, I'm going to dedicate a lot of the Saturdays. You know, I'm going to do my TBRs like normal, right? And then I'm also going to add Black History Month to that. Kind of like what The View does on a, on a daily basis, for instance, with their Black History Month. But since I only broadcast every Saturday, I'll do it once a week. Um, I'll put together one one leader or they may not even be a leader they might just be the an ordinary person but i will 
put together that every Saturday along with my actual TBR that I'm doing. And and for February, you got Black History Month, you got Valentine's Day, you've got all of these books right here that you see. All of these books, except for this one. Oh, here it is. Black History Book. Not Black History. All of these books, they're all by Black authors, right? And this one is an older book. Lean on me. I'm going to get that. I like the movie. I really did. So I'm going to read that one see what they are um uh, the the one book is okay yeah those th these two books are just it's very thought provocative provocative and intrigues you know it intrigues me to read it so i'm going to uh the other book i think is this one that i have to read for either this month or next month and compared to this book this book is like three of these in one you know for the size 100 and african american history overview slavery and emancipation um jim crow and segregation black organization civil rights black power race society and anti-racism and there's a syllabus too a syllabus for history of the black experience so it's 164 pages and this is of course it's by a white guy why wouldn't it be? Uh, 164. Holy Jesus. Holy cow. Holy cow. This is 417 pages. I'm expecting a couple things in the mail. One of them is the Chronicles of Narnia. I can't remember what else I'm, I'm expecting. Oh, and P.S. by the way. Just my opinion. You can take it or leave it. Uh, you remember when I told you that I ordered, um, uh, for that emotional support animal stuff? You know, like the, the harness the leash, all that stuff. That was the 22nd of November. Today is the 21st of January. <laughs> Two months. Two months. Still haven't received it, right? I emailed them back and forth. There's like the first time, the first time. I, I this is, it, it's not funny. It's like, <laughs> it's pathetic. So I uh, emailed them the first time. Well, we don't have an address on file for you. <laughs> really really i would think that you could program that stuff into your the website you know information because i paid for it to begin with so it's like when are you going to get this back to me so then i contact them again well we sent you an email you sent me an email which was the end of the end of the end of December. It'll become, you'll be getting tracking when it comes, right? So weeks later, the beginning of January, I email them again. When is it coming? Well, we've had nothing but problems. It's like, well, can I get a discount on it? I got this snippy little blank emailing me back. You know, it's like, you can get a complete refund or you're we going to add a, a, a special gift with the people that you know they're they're it's running behind it's like dude really i mean next oh, anybody seriously anybody that orders from that place just order the esa certificate be done with it like 60 bucks on all that stuff so it's like wow you have your consumer at a disadvantage the the one video the one series that i'm watching right now is a good fight on prime actually it's technically paramount plus i'm considering on getting it i think it's ten dollars a month starting starting in february yeah i think it's worth it so i'm i'm watching that i think that's it because when i get done with work i just want to eat supper watch tv i usually i usually read if i have the energy and not just this book no well this book is right in front of me so are available tomorrow come watch my show you guys have a terrific day enjoy your friday and enjoy your weekend if i don't see you tomorrow you know what i mean i will see you next week thank you for watching and i will see you soon take care bye